Welcome back to week four of my Maria Slade collab. Um, this is the fourth and final week. This week's theme is pumpkin patch. So I'm going to use Nell Sugar's Funky Pumpkin decals to create this set. This is just going to be ever such a simple set. We're going to be using Nell Mate's um, strengthening gel. It's like it's a rubber base, I believe, in the bottle. Uh, what else are we going to be using? I think that's literally it. I, it's because it's the last week and the theme is pumpkin patch i had really my nails had grown out so much so i was desperate to do my own nails so i thought i know we'll just do a builder in a bottle set of active length pumpkin nails just really simple so it's nothing really exciting in today's video but i know some people like to watch people doing their own nails so i thought right let's go for it i am you see my little finger there i nicked it with my e-file bit I'm not e-file trained, so if you're not e-file trained and you do have an e-file, please do be careful. You can so easily nick yourself like I did, because I'm a silly billy. Right, you ideally you need a um you need the Nailmate Pro Bond. I actually don't have it. I meant to order it on my last order and I totally forgot. But because my gel takes to my nails really well, like my when I used to use acrylic, when I used to have acrylic, I used to have loads of lifting. Any sort of gel products seem to do really well on my nails which is why I mostly have I can't remember the last time I wore acrylic it was years ago so all I've done is literally dehydrate my nails and now I'm going to go in with my with the product now because this is it's called a strengthening gel but it is actually a rubber base so I'm going to use it to strengthen my natural nails I decided this time round I was going to apply a thin coat to each of the nails and then I'm going to cure it in the lamp I, I do it differently, different, it depends, I think it just depends how I feel. Sometimes I will do a thin layer, I don't cure it, I will use that as a slip layer and then I will go in with the, with a, a bead just to create some strength. This time I decided to do a thin layer and cure it and then work on top of that. I, the, the best way to do it I think is to add a slip layer and then work on the slip layer. Um, I don't know why I done it this way around this time, but there we go, I'm just telling you what I done. <laughs> Um, by the way, once you've watched this video, do go and watch uh, Maria Slate Mia. She, she's called her name is Maria, but she it's she shortens it to Mia. So if I say either, I am right. I'm not being a wally. But yeah, I'm going to link her channel below. So after you've watched this video, do go and check hers out. I haven't actually seen it yet, so it's going to be um, exciting to see what she has done this time round. Oh look, I'm going to add a mood board here as well. So if you want to join in with this week's collab, that's your mood board to create a set of nails. If you are in my group, please share them in my group because I'd love to see them. Of course, you don't have to join in at all. <laughs> it's just there if you want to. So now I'm using the gel to create a little bit of strength on my natural nails. I will add a blob at the back and I'll pillow it backwards slightly. And then I'm just moving the product side to side just to make sure that I've got enough product. Do be careful as well sometimes because if you add a lot on, it can cause a heat spike. Funnily enough, this time around, I didn't get much of a heat spike on these. Sometimes I get quite a bad heat spike and sometimes I don't. And obviously this time I didn't for some reason. I don't know why, but there we go. So I'm doing, look, this time I'm adding a thin layer over that layer that I've already done. And then I'm gonna add a blob just to add this to try and add the structure and sometimes if I'm not quite happy with how the gel has settled I will turn my hand upside down just so that my structure is as good as it could be before I come to filing just so that it means I don't have to file as much I didn't I wasn't happy with how this nail was so I went back to work on it a little bit So I do turn it upside down here. There we go, do you see what I mean? And it just allows the gel to move to where I want it. And then I do check it again and then I throw it in the lamp. Okay, 
So that's two nails done. I'm gonna do the same thing on all of them. I'm only gonna show you me doing three because I worry it's gonna get boring, but this is them done now. Now I am going, I do need to file them. I just need to refine that shape a little bit. So I'm gonna take some isopropyl alcohol just to remove the tacky layer. You can use, I can't remember what the name of the nail mate. She's got like a, like a gel cleanse, but I can't remember what it's called. Um, I just use isopropyl alcohol when I'm removing the tacky layer. And once I've done that, I'm just gonna, this is a 100, 180 grit file. The good thing about gel is it doesn't need a lot of, it's not as hard as what acrylic is to file in my opinion. And also I, there's like, it's literally just to strengthen my nails. So it's not like I've got masses of product on. I just literally want to refine it a little bit. So I'm just gonna do that with my file. Um, again, I'm going to skip forward because I know some people like to watch this, but sometimes I find it a little bit boring. So skipping forward, I've done the filing. I'm now going to use a wipe and some alcohol just to remove the excess dust. I have chubby side walls, so I get a lot of dust trapped in my side walls. So I just have to make sure that I get as much of the dust off as I can. Sometimes, you see in there? Like sometimes I really have to, I have to like put my nail in to get the the, the dust out because it gets really lodged in there. Chubby side walls, <laughs> the joys. <laughs> and again on my thumb. Right, then we're going to pick our decal. So I decided that I was going to have three. It took me a little while to decide, but I'm going to put one on my pinky. And because my pinky is quite small, obviously I'm going to pick one of the smaller decals for my pinky. So when you're removing the decals, you can you can cut a chunk off, but you do need to remove a lot of that excess, like the white from around the decal. You literally only want the design. Well, I mean, you don't, by the way, that mark on my hand, that's not dirt. That is where my skin has gone hard on my hand and it looks brown and it's really horrible, but it's where I've started cleaning and I mop a lot. Um, yeah, it's my skin has started to go hard. Oh, worker's hands. <laughs> oh dear. Right, the big one is going to go on my thumb. And I decided that I was going to have a medium sized one because I've got big thumbnails. My thumbnails are really quite wide. They're not clubbed thumbs, but they are quite wide. So look, can you see I'm just removing a lot of that excess, the excess wipe from around the decal. You don't need that. And sometimes it's, it, it makes, makes decals a pain. So remove as much of that off as you possibly can. Okay, so I've got three decals there, all different sizes, ranging from small to large. <laughs> and then we need something for them to stick onto. So I'm just taking some base coat and I'm gonna put a very, very thin layer of that onto the nails where I'm gonna put the pumpkins. So that I'm gonna put the pumpkins nearer the free edge, sort of at the more at the bottom of the nail as opposed to like the cuticle end or in the middle. So I'm making this nice and thin. I don't want it too thick. There we go. So once we've got our base coat on, obviously that's gonna need a cure. So pop that in the lamp for, I think Madden, I think this, this gel, this, sorry, this base coat is 30 seconds, but I think they're newer bottles say 60. So if you're unsure, cure it for a bit longer. This was me trying to clean my, my <laughs> stamper with a lint roller without holding the, the stamper, which was a bit silly of me, but pop your stamper up, no, pop your decal upside down on your stamper and then just dab the back with water. And then after several seconds, that backing, look, it's just gonna slide off, it's so easy. Dab off any excess water, and then you can stamp that onto your tacky layer on your nail. Sometimes I do have to color in the decal with some gel polish, like some white gel polish, but because the decals are kind of like an orangey pink, and my, my nude base is a, is, is a pink, I just stamp them straight on. Sometimes it makes the, the decals more vivid, but I wasn't too worried about that today because of the colors I'm using, if that makes sense. So this is the medium one on my middle finger. And then I'm gonna do exactly the same with the large one on my thumb. 
there we go so we've got all three decals onto our nails i was going to do something else on the other two nails but honestly i didn't have time so i just thought right we'll keep it nice and simple today i'm going to use the nail mate super gloss this is their shiny nail wipe top coat I, I, honestly this top coat is actually really quite nice and it is really shiny as well i like it a lot and when I do my own nail, in fact, when I do, even if it's on my practice hand, for some weird reason, I like to top coat one nail at a time and cure it one nail at a time. I don't know why. I just, yeah. I just like to make sure that, I don't know, I suppose, I don't know what it is. I just seem to do them one at a time. And I think the decals look really cute. By the way, you can save 10%. <coughs> on any nail sugar decals using my code natmug10 not just the decals actually anything on nail sugar's website you can use um code natmug10 and on lorna's website i'll link it down below I, in fact all the links and discount codes will be down below or in my link tree in my link tree links always down in my in my down in my description box but the discount codes are the same i think the discount code for uh, glitter planet might still work i'm not quite sure how long it's valid for but try nat 10 if you want to buy anything from this planet and then obviously the nail sugar website as always is nat 10 i'm going to do the other two nails now and here we go this is them done and uh, lastly i always always need actually editing this video i thought yeah i need to put some cuticle oil on so i put some cuticle oil on during editing this video <laughs> I like the, this is the Glitter Planet, Glitter Planet Cherry um, cuticle oil. I prefer these ones with brushes because you can brush it on nice and neatly where you want it. Sometimes I find the droppers, the oil just goes everywhere. And I don't actually like to get the oil on the actual nail. I like to get it sort of around it more than on top of it. Sometimes I found in the, in the past that the cuticle oil almost dims the shine sometimes do you does that i don't know has anyone else had that maybe i'm just not maybe it's just me i don't know but i like to just go around the actual nail on the skin not on the actual nail where i've top coated so obviously we'll do that on all of them and then just for kicks and giggles extra measure i'm not quite sure what the phrase is i'm going to go underneath here as well And this one smells nice as well. I like the smell of cherry. There we go. So that's them done. Put the lid, put the lid back on. Pop the lid back on. My camera went a bit weird. So I did stop recording and then re-record here. <laughs> but this is them done. I hope you like this video. If you did, please leave me a like. If you haven't already, do consider subscribing. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future uploads. God bless. Love you all. And I will see you in the next one. Oh, don't forget websites and discount codes below. Also, don't forget to go and watch me as one as well. Let me know what you think. Love you. Bye.